Masters. Let's kick things off with our moment of the right round. And it can only be one thing. The Dolphins have arrived. Wayne Bennett's men knocked off Premiership heavyweights. The Roosters in front of 32,000 fans in an historic afternoon at Suncorp Stadium. March 5, 2023. The first lineup of the Dolphins. Jesse Bromwich leads them out. The Dolphins have arrived. The Marshall King. Oh, Marshall King. He's on the tarmac with plenty of support. No one will catch Tabuai Fino. There's your first try scorer. Paul oh, Smith was hit by Kafusi. Elise Kafusi on Brandon Smith. Ooh. Oh, he looks up. He's hit by Kafusi. Have a look at Felice. He is in some sort of mood now. Marshall King, there for Nichols, the goat is over! The Dolphins have arrived and there's no stage fright there. Lemuelo has scored! Wayne Bennett's Dolphins lead by 18 points to 12. Katoa is sold to run by Kafusi. Here they come, Lee got it away. A sack out for the corner, they got it again! Three straight tries to the Dolphins now! It is beautiful rugby league to watch. Dolphins then, what a chance, Katoa. And what a pass! Here they go, it's a stroll. It's a Sunday afternoon stroll in the corner. The Dolphins are 16 points in front. The Dolphins are winners in game number one. Amazing stuff. I'm here to tell you, I think this bloke, Bennett, might have a future in coaching. How's that, Wayne? You're yeah, not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> History is made. It's just a great occasion. There's so many winners today, but the biggest winner today is the game. That's the biggest winner today. Full time. Dolphins 28, Roosters 18. What a magical performance. Let's bring the journos in, Phil Rothfield and Brent Reid. Well, how did he do it? How did Wayne Bennett orchestrate one of the biggest Upsets in recent memory, the Dolphins, the 17th team, the newest team in the NRL against the Premiership heavyweights. Incredible. Well, you're talking to the two guys who last week wrote that the <laughs> Dolphins roster was four and a half million dollars. What are you dragging me into that oh, for? Well, you that was all you. Under the Roosters. Yeah. And what price were the Dolphins? Six, four, four seven bucks. dollars. I don't bet Un no, we don't bet. Unbelievable <laughs> victory. It was. Well, he's a, he's a master, isn't he? And he obviously played that underdog tag. No one rates us. I saw there was a comment from Jared Wallace or someone mm -hmm. saying they said we wouldn't win a game. No one said that. No one no, said they no wouldn't win a game. That. There were a few people tipping them to win a spoon, mind mm. you. And I'm sure Wayne pr played on that all week. I mean, he's a genius at that sort of stuff. Mm. I, I was with someone who knows Wayne quite well when they were in the dressing room before the game. We were just talking, and one of the guys there said, what do you think he's saying now? And he said, I'll tell you exactly what he's saying. He's saying, guys, don't worry about the scoreboard and go out and just stick to the game plan. Concentrate on your defence. Mm. That's, that's it. And that's, that, that was the secret. Look, I thought the Roosters were terribly disappointing. Yeah. I don't want to take any of the gloss yeah. off what the Dolphins did. But, yeah, they've got three internationals in the pack. They're not a hopeless side. No. Uh, mm. th yeah, it was a surprise. I, cause I'm not trying to pretend I, I saw it coming. But they, they are fully fit at the moment. But it's got they were a lot better than what you expected. They were a lot better than what we... Yeah, that's... True, Braith. And look, the, the, the concern for the season, I think, for the Dolphins, which we all, when we're given season tips and all the rest of it, is once they get midway through the season, they've got a few injuries and suspensions and all the rest of it because there's not a lot of depth there. But their run on side is a first rate side. There's a couple of little hiccups here and there, but it, there's some very good players in the team. You know what they did really smartly, right? They went to Melbourne, they went to a winning club and bought three yeah, of their yeah. really experienced guys right well, they in the forward them. pack. And they, look, they missed out on some big name targets, they didn't mm. panic. They didn't go and spend money willy-nilly on guys they didn't need to get. They've got money up their sleeve for next year. They signed Farmworth. They signed Flegler. Mm. You know, they kept their powder dry on that front until they could get some decent well, where, play, where good, the, really good players, right? And, and they, where, where they're smart there, Reedy, is the mm. fact that the way the salary cap works, where well, you don't spend this year, yes. you can put on next year's cap. Mm. Yeah. So they yeah, didn't panic and, money, huh? and yeah. spend the money when they didn't need to. Yeah. Well, the young guns and the veterans fired yesterday for the Dolphins. Kafusi was incredible. That was an mm. obvious one. Marshall King, I thought... Was really good at our dummy half. He even off a quick play the ball. Mm, he yeah. set the tone. He, he gave them headaches. The Roosters and really got his side on the front foot. Uh, there was he won uh, with the Artie Beatson medal there. Uh, he Kifuzzi. deserved it yeah. too. That hit he did on Brandon Smith was a game changer. 
And Brandon wasn't, not saying he wasn't interested, but wasn't the same after that. And it really knocked him about. And the Roosters' big money off-season signing mm. was really disappointing, like the rest of the side. You talked about Benji, Benji Marshall. Benji Marshall. Jeremy Marshall King, mm. Braith. But he was he was outstanding last year for the Dogs. Mm. And a beat, I think he got their player of the year, didn't he? Jeremy Marshall King. So yes. He's, he's not a dud footballer. He's a pretty clever footballer. And, you know, behind a forward pack that's dominating like they did, He's capable of doing what we're seeing now. He's capable of causing havoc. Buzz, massive win for Fox League in the NRL. The highest rating round ever was on the first round over the weekend. Incredible weekend. 18% overall. The rating's up. Saturday night's Cronulla South game was the highest rating match ever for mm. a club game. But let me talk about the Dolphins. They've caught the imagination of people in... Queensland and, and Wayne Bennett, you know, further wider in New South Wales, Victoria, they clearly outrated the Broncos. Now, the Broncos were Friday night against the Premiers, prime mm. time, getting Sunday afternoon at four o'clock. Mm. The Dolphins, with that remarkable win, have beaten their crosstown rivals and quite clearly. Mm. Well, it's great interest in it, wasn't it? It was a historical moment. And you go back to when the Broncos came in, and Bennett manufactured the win there. If you remember, they took on Manly round there, one. I was there, Kitty. I was there. Manly round one, who were the premiers from the season before, and they put a score on them. And that's sort of announced the birth of the Broncos. And, and similarly, the, uh, yeah. the Dolphins have yeah. announced themselves now. Round mm. four. But it's worth hanging out for Broncos v Dolphins, mm. Suncorp mm. Stadium, prime time again. Mm. The rivalry, Wayne mm. versus Kenny. the Bronx, mm. it's huge. Got to yeah. give credit to Volandis. He fought for the Dolphins yeah. to come into the competition. He copped a lot of grief with the decision and for the mm. push. Looks like he's made the right one, right? Yeah, but l let's be serious. Of course, it looks like the right one, but. I don't want people to get too excited yet, as much as yesterday was great. It's a long year. Mm. It's, they'll be competitive, is what they showed us yesterday, and they do lack depth, Braith. Mm. But you don't think they can maintain what they produced yesterday? That, that's the challenge. I agree with what no you said about the Commission. Fantastic mm. decision to bring them in. Yeah. But I think the excitement will be tempered as the season goes along. But it's a bit. not just about wins and losses, though, Buzz. It's about mm. showing there's another. There's another um, core group of fans yeah. who, who thirst for rugby guess, league yeah. and they don't have Brisbane, right? They've now got the Dolphins. And, mm. you know, we talk about moving to 18 teams in four years' time. I and mean, for me, you've got to go to Queensland again mm. because I think the market's big enough. This shows that there's a market mm. out there for yeah. more footy in Queensland. All, all four Queensland teams won All too. four of them, Keddie. That, that didn't look Very like a one-off to origin, me. Origin, baby. <laughs> yeah, again, here he is. Uh, that didn't look like a one-off to me, though. That, that looked like mm. they've it wasn't a got a good win. system. It wasn't a fluke. They played a quality... No. Quality team. Well, let, let's get to the other side, the Roosters. 